Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at the junkyard, and what I'm going to show you is this 2008 Ford Escape, or as I call them, Escape, <laughs> or Escape, one of the two. Anyway, so this is going to be a detailed look at this generation of Ford Escape. <laughs> um, under the hood, you could get, obviously this one was in an accident, you get either a 2.5 liter V6, which put out about 170 horse, and the other option was a 3 liter V6 Duratec, which put out about 220 horsepower. Now this generation ran from 2008 up until 2012. And well, this is probably my favorite generation of Escape because it looked updated, but it was a uh, more of a body change than anything. It was a facelift almost, but not quite. This one obviously has the V6 by the V6 badge and the V6 under the hood. Two-tone cloth interior. Rubber steering wheel, this one is a base model. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors, which I believe were standard on these, and this plastic was so cheap. It just broke and broke and broke. For the most part, the power seat was pretty standard. Now, I believe there was XL, XLS, XLT, for these and XL was the base, XLS was one up, XLT is what this is, I believe, and the hatch is gone, so I can't tell you, but I believe it was a hat, an XLT, and it doesn't have leather, obviously, but you can get these leather heated seats, a whole bunch of options. This one does have the sunroof, though. Now the other option you could have with these, I forgot to mention up there, was a hybrid. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the hybrid used the 2.5 liter engine. And it was not too bad of a package. It got not bad mileage. Now this one here, you could get it manual transmission as well as automatic. This had the 6F35, I think as the automatic transmission and as the manual transmission i don't know the name of it but it was a five speed manual and i think in later years it was a six speed <laughs> but you could get this with sink leather and even you could get this all-wheel drive standard was front wheel drive but you could opt for all-wheel drive on these they called it four-wheel drive, but it was more like an all-wheel drive system. <laughs> you can fold the seats down. It's actually very similar to my car, how you fold the seats down. These come out, and you fold the seats down, you get a nice flat load floor. And the cargo space is pretty big, because it was all square. It wasn't, like, rounded like the new ones are. So you didn't lose much space by having... A whole bent much of curving in this area this one's not in bad shape though but one of the worst things about these and this one uh, it's not perfect but it doesn't suffer from it so bad is that right around this area here they love to rust out now this is by no means perfect but it's still semi-solid there so that's pretty good Ford's exclusive keypad stuff now interesting feature about these is you put your five digit code in and seven nine no uh these two open all the doors these two open the trunk or something like that i forget exactly what it is but there's a an algorithm you do that Okay, these two do the trunk, or the front door, all the doors, 
these two do the trunk or the hatch in this case and these two if you're outside the car and you want to lock it hold down these two and it locks it little interesting features like that i like that about the ford though because you can lock your keys in it and not lock your keys in it <laughs> This one has a really good crinkle on the hood though. Now there was an outdoors option on this one too. I forget what it was, but it had a roof rack that folded down to put bikes on and whatnot. It was really neat, but it's not overly common. Obviously this was reported to police. <laughs> it looks like it has newer front brakes. And there's a side swipe on it though. That looks like it was here before the front accident though. <laughs> ah, that might be a new muffler actually too. This side is better for wear actually. So this one probably could have been on the road for a couple more years. Now this one is all wheel drive or four wheel drive. Here you see the little the diff back there and the axle coming down to it. Now, you could get the four-wheel drive with the 2.5 liter, I believe, but it was pretty slow and it got pretty bad fuel mileage for what it was at that point because it just took so much to drive all the four wheels with that little engine. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see any other cars done, please drop a comment below, but I hope you have a great day and please don't forget to subscribe and like the video.